Welcome everybody back to my channel. In this episode, we're going to continue working on these lithium batteries that came out of a Smart for Two electric car. Now this episode is all about the safety feature called a BMS. This is the version that we're going to be using and BMS stands for Battery Management System. Now this particular one also is providing the safety features and monitoring. We're going to install it on the battery and I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, Squarespace. Squarespace is an online platform where you can do quite a few things to help your business, including uh, getting a domain name and a website built. But more on that later. This is one of the lithium cells that I pulled out of this pack. This one is bad and it won't hold a charge, so that's why I pulled it out. But these things can be very dangerous, which is why we need to have a safety feature. Now the difficult part is that when you have multiple of these cells all lined up in series, the pack voltage might read just fine, but the individual cell voltage might be doing something bad. Now, if an individual cell voltage goes too low or too high, it can cause problems. So a BMS or battery management system like this is designed to monitor every individual cell and it will shut off the whole battery if an individual cell goes too high or too low. In addition, this BMS does have a balance function uh, which is pretty typical for these small boards. There are several tiny little resistors and it will turn on a resistor for an individual cell to try to help balance them. Now one of the reasons that I like this one is because I can monitor it uh, with this Bluetooth device. Not all of them have the ability to monitor it and I can change the parameters of this. I think it is set up to turn off the pack voltage at like 4.25 volts as a high point per cell. I'm going to probably adjust that lower uh, for a little bit more safety margin. But that's one of the nice things about this particular BMS. Now this one is rated at 100 amps. It's supposed to be able to carry 100 amps of current continuously. Now I don't actually believe that. But I did buy the 100 amp version, which is the biggest one this particular brand had, uh, because I didn't want the BMS to fail just from drawing a 40 amp load off of it. <laughs> so here's the BMS. Now it's rated here 14S and 100 amps, and it's for 3.7 volt lithium ion cells. So let's go ahead and take this wiring harness off. So here's the wiring harness and it's just gonna go off to this side. And we can see the positive most lead is over here. So we're gonna want the red one to run over to this side. This wiring harness needs to attach to each of these. And that's actually the same way that the original BMS was attached on this battery. So I'm just gonna be using the same locations the original BMS used. So we're going to have to clean this up and prepare it uh, for this wiring harness. Okay, so the first thing is to sand all these guys down. I just have a little denatured alcohol on this rag. I'm going to use a little soldering paste on all these. This is the solder I'm going to be using, and I'll leave a link for this in the description below. This is a 200 watt soldering iron. Now if there's a better technique for soldering these things up, please leave a comment below.
the tips of these wires already looked look like they are tinned so I don't think I have to do anything else to them we're going to start with this red one over here great now the next very next one over pull that off it's going to go to the other side it's going to go over here have to make sure I get these in the right order I actually think these tips are a little too short I'm gonna cut more of this insulation off Once again, those, those three are all attached. Let's grab number four, pull this guy out. Number four is going to go over here. All right, they're all soldered on, so now I can try to wipe off some of this excess flux. And I've given each one a nice little tug. They don't seem to be going anywhere. Now before I plug this in to the BMS, I'm gonna need a wire to go from the BMS to this negative post. Now there's two sides. This one is listed as C minus and B minus. The B minus side goes to the battery so somehow I got to connect from this side over to this post. So in order to do that, I want it to be as short as possible. So I think I'm going to mount the BMS right here. And we need to go from here up to the post. So if I was to take one of these wires and I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to run it. Now, if I'd go like this, I have to make a pretty sharp turn. Can't quite do that. If I go out this way, I'm getting on top of the battery next to it. So I'm probably going to have to come off something like this and then loop it around and back down and over. So it doesn't have to be very long, but I have to kind of take the long way around. So maybe something like this long. We'll go ahead and crimp on a couple more. One eye hook needs to be drilled out just a little bit bigger to accommodate these bolts. The other end should be fine going on this screw. Now this ring terminal needs to attach to one of these and there's a copper bar on each side of this to help spread out the load across all of these MOSFETs that are underneath here. So I just need to bolt it to one of them. However, when I was mocking this up, I noticed something back here you see it's, see how that bolt head is coming in at an angle because it's touching the copper bar? So that won't do well. So I thought I might add a strip of copper to balance that out. I bought this copper bar. This is copper 101 or 111. It's a high purity copper for electrical applications. And if I cut it down the middle, it looks like it'll probably fit well. And if I cut it there, then I should have enough for both sides. So I'm going to cut this down the middle and across. I'm going to try some of this paste. So 
So now that copper bar is soldered on there. And I brought the solder up front over on this side. I'll be attaching this nut, but I'm going to put some Loctite on here. This BMS is going to wind up being put in this location on the back side of the battery. I put a little duct tape on here, just temporary, so we can get the idea of it. On top, and it's going to go right here. We'll put this in. Remember, there's going to be another battery sitting right here, so this is actually going to come up on top of the next battery. And it looks like I can make this shorter. So I'll wind up dialing in the length for this. But let's go ahead and plug in the BMS wires and see what happens. Well, saw something light up. Here's the app for this BMS. I have not tried turning this on yet, so we're going to find out together if it works. Yeah, so I don't know which is which here. Let's just try this one. Oh, so that was the correct one. Nice, it logged right in. So two of them are blinking. I think they're showing me high and low. 49.22 volts across. Average voltage is 3.52. But we have a 3.53. This one is 3.498. So they're a little bit out of balance right now. So I still have to balance these. Well, this looks great. We can see every cell now. Yeah, this is what we're going after. I'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsors for this video. Squarespace is an online platform that can help you with several aspects of your business. Uh, in particular, I'm interested in how they can make building a website nice and easy. Not only can you build a website on Squarespace, but you can also buy the domain name there, so everything's in one location. And they have pre-made templates. Uh, I'm not even sure how all that stuff is handled in the background, but I'm glad that I don't have to become a computer programmer to build a website. So head over to Squarespace, try it out for free, and if you use the uh, promo code, which I'm going to link below, uh, you'll also get 10% off your first domain name. So thanks a lot, Squarespace. Well, thank you everybody for checking out how we're going to install these BMSs or battery management systems on this battery. I'm going to install a total of six BMSs, one for each battery. That means every single cell is going to be monitored, and if anything goes out of whack, it can be shut down. So I think this is the highest level of safety that I can incorporate. Thank you all very much for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below, and check out the Patreon link if you'd like to help support the channel. Thank you. This side will always be connected to the battery. This side will turn itself on and off if there was a problem. Right now it's on. There's voltage present. So it can both charge and discharge.